What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek. And today we're talking about Power Automate on Microsoft Teams. And we're gonna look at an action called Get Messages Preview. So Get Messages allows you to specify a team and a channel and it will go off and it will retrieve the messages from that channel. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate here, I have a manual tree of flow so we can trigger the flow. And then I can click on New Step and go to Microsoft Teams and scroll down until I find Get Messages Preview. If I choose this, it's going to give me two required parameters or ask me for two required parameters here. I've got the team uh, and I've also got the channel itself as well. I think it's just uh, having to think about the, uh, the team. There we go. Uh, so I've got three teams here. I'm going to choose this MCJ demo team. It's one of the teams I've been using for a lot of my videos recently so we can get some information from that and then we need to specify the channel and the channel is there's only one channel it's the general channel so this will go off and this will retrieve the messages so what we'll do is we'll add in a compose step and we can add in some direct content so we have a few things here we have like message body uh, message from users message uh, message content, uh, message from device, IDs, etc. So there's actually quite a lot of things, a subject to the message, any attachments. There's actually quite a lot that we can get from this action. Uh, what I will do is I will use the message body. Choose that one. Now, as soon as I've done that, it's put apply to each around my compose action. That's because the message list coming back is going to be an array there could be more than one message body and we know there's going to be more than one message body and therefore it's going to put that apply to each around it. So let's test this out and see what it looks like. So um, I'll perform the trigger action, we'll save and test. We'll run the flow, we'll click done and it's run. So if I just look at this output first, so if I look at the get messages, look at the outputs, um, one of the things it does tell us is it has an ODATE account. So it's telling me how many messages it's returning back to me. So there are 11 messages in that channel. And then we can get to the message list. So we get things like ID, E tag, when it's modified, the type. And if I scroll down a little bit, we can see like web URL and stuff like that. We can see who wrote it, it was me, uh, with my old name. We can find the body of it. Someone has been removed from this team. We can see there's no attachments because that's blank. Um, and we, we get various things in here. And that's just kind of going to be show, showing up in our apply to each. So again, our apply to each is giving us, you know, what content is it? Okay, this is HTML content. What is the content itself? Like someone has been removed from this team. Uh, and then we've got an, um, an at symbol. And then we've got Andrew Wolf. And then we can go across. And this one's a blank one. I did get a few blank results coming back. Which I wasn't too sure why they were blank because there is definitely content in there. So we'll skip through some of these. We can get another one uh, at Matt Collins. Hey there. Um, hi there. Isn't this is a new channel? So we've gotten uh, a message in one, five, and six. If I go over to my teams, someone's been removed from this channel. Hi there. Um, you know, and, and there's nothing else in between. I think what's what the action is returning is a bunch of deleted messages and that's why they're blank. Um, but then after that, we've got, hey there, we've got this, uh, here's the new channel um, and, and we've got the rest of these details and you can keep going through, how's the new channel. Uh, again, a blank one, blank one, and then we have some details. So uh, this one, uh, this one is like a link to my thing um, and if I go back to this, it's like here is the thing and there's a link here. So it's basically picking up all of these messages. So this is a cool action to get you some of the information and get you uh, some details about what messages are going on in your teams. I think for me, this action is kind of useful because it'll kind of tell me how, like, how busy teams are and things like that. So I could use this. I could, you know, export these details and save them somewhere. Uh, but I don't have generally too many use cases for this, but I would like to know if you guys do. So are there any use cases you use this action for? Let me know in the comments down below. 
What do you use it for? Do you not use it? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date on my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.